right here. Keep rolling, they said. Um, oh. Today's video is sponsored by Sophie and Toffee. Check the link down below. Use code NERDYCRAFTER15 to get 15% off the special edition Kingdom Hearts box. Hey, Grains, and welcome to Cash or Trash, the series where I destroy craft kits, take them apart, make them regret their existence. <clears throat> I mean, the series where I review craft kits to make sure that I waste my money and you don't. Don't ask me where that came from. Shh. Today we're going to be looking at two craft kits from Crayola. And yes, both of them are the same type of craft, which is bead making. The first one is called Crayola Bead Studio, and this was actually sent to me by one of you grains in my P.O. box. And when I checked on Crayola's website, it is approximately $23-24. I'm pretty excited to try this one more specifically because it says that it's made with model magic, which means in essence, the clay should already come colored. The second kit is called Crayola Creations Marble It. It sounds like marvelous. Marble It. <laughs> However, I'm a little more skeptical on this one simply because let's look at that area where we're going to color the beads. Now, from my experience, when you roll something in a batch of colors, more often than not, it ends up becoming a purpley or brown color. So I'm curious what this is going to end up looking like. Normally, when it comes to Crayola, I know we kind of called it Crayola, but I am a very fair person. So whether it's great or it's poop, I'll tell you my honest opinion, because sometimes Crayola will take a good idea and they're gonna squish it and then what you get is garbage. Don't ask me how I did that. Flowers. By the way, for those of you new to this channel, I will wave a sharp pointy thing at you if you don't subscribe. Don't make me threaten you. Click on all notifications while you're there. Threat has no validation. Don't worry about it. It's just also, let me know in the comment section below which one do you have the least hope on, and for me, it's probably Marble It. Marble It. And so, our first victim... And no, I do not mean Kit, because Crayola, more often than not, has done things to me that we don't want to talk about. <laughs> Ooh, okay, we don't want to think about that again. I'm pretty excited about this kit, despite the fact that I am pretty salty. It's just sweet and salty need to balance out, okay? And I like the fact that they call it flowery twist. And all we're getting technically when we're seeing the front of the box is that it's just rolled on itself. I guess they're trying to mimic the idea of a flower or a rose. There are definitely way better methods, but I'm curious how the actual machine is going to be doing it. And also, is there really a purpose to the machine? That's the other question. So I'm pretty, pretty curious. Is the machine necessary? Are there better methods? We'll see. Maybe it's just compatible with their clay. Their instructions are roll beads, add ribbon, wear or share. And when we turn the box around, it seems like there's of course the machine and a few other trinkets and things. I'm not quite sure what they're used for yet, but we will find out together. And oh my god, look, there's gonna be a video. You bet all heck we're gonna watch that video together. All right, enough chitty chatty. Let's see what we get inside. Here's what we get inside. The mechanism tool rotating thing. Basically a rolly tool. And there are no textures on the rolly thing. So it really is just rolling pin. I'm not sure what it does yet. We also get model magic in blue, yellow, pink, and purple. And what the heck is this? No, no. Bruh. So it seems like the raspberry from boys. I know it's framboise, don't worry, I know my friend seems to have burst in transit so it has hardened oh no crumbly crumbly dear from boys i haven't known you for very long but we can we please get an f in the chat goodbye adieu Bye bye so it seems that whatever they used for transit was not the most efficient because we received a very hardened and crumbly gross clay, absolutely unusable. I'm going to try and see if I can revive it. Maybe the ones deep inside is a little more, sorry for the word, moist. So we'll see if there's anything we can salvage. All the other ones though still seem somewhat, yeah, they're, they're definitely still soft on the inside. 
Some accessories for the stand and, and rope and whatnot. Ribbons for our creations. Almost sounded like I was doing a frog sound. Ribbons? <laughs> We also have some bezels, which are really, really cute. That is a really good way to kind of get into customizing open bezels or closed bezels, antique bezels. The designs are actually really cute. They look like super antique type mirrors. We get a gigantic pot of glitter. I don't know in what universe we're going to need this much glitter, but but, 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 they do give us glitter and it is glaze, but we don't get a paintbrush. Crayola. You're known to just put paintbrushes randomly in kits that we don't need it. But now that we need it, where's my paintbrush? Is it in here? No, thanks for nothing. We also get a little needle tool, which I'm guessing is to make the holes and to insert the string through. We also get an easy how to guide inst instruction, 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 ah! <laughs> instruction novel that is quite the big one that's what he's we'll be right back. all right let's go ahead and start with a yellow and it is called dandelion or in french is pisanli it might sound like other things but it's just another language and also purple in lavender now interestingly according to the instructions we're going to measure each piece by pushing it into the actual machine so basically the side in here is going to have the hole which is going to give us the measurement i'm trying to understand the logic behind it instead of actually just putting a an actual you know chart guide on the instruction sheet i guess that could work but i guess we'll find out there's so many guessing i'm not even sure what i'm doing well, that's, that's, oh, why did it, fo oh no, it felt soft. It's still workable, but there's some crumbliness to it. So we really have to make sure that it doesn't dry out, which means Crayola obviously didn't provide us with any kind of resealable bags. I mean, it would have technically saved their own materials, so I'm just going to supply my own. At this point, Crayola is known to kind of let us figure things out on our own. Hey, we gave you a glaze. You need a brush? Figure it out. We gave you air dry clay, but no resealable bag. You know what? Figure it out. That's why Crayola's theme is figure it out. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and push this through. I don't know how much is good. And pulling it out. What? Hang on. I'm sure in their minds it worked better than they thought. Sometimes the idea is better than the execution. Who am I to say? Not like I've ever, you know, reviewed craft kits. In the trash! In the trash! I'm just saying. Okay, so I'm gonna just push it all the way in like so. And I guess this is our measurement. There we go. Oh. You saw nothing! I'm just here trying to do a craft show. And you guys gotta bring me to the gutter with you. Why? Purple time. And in here, and that's our measurement. Kind of looks like a mushroom. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> now that we have both pieces, we're just gonna kind of put them together. And confusingly, according to the instructions, we're going to insert it from here, like so. And then they don't mention to actually turn the machine around. Luckily, I have very good sense of perception. And we have to turn the machine around before we start turning the knob away from us. So technically, all the magic should be happening right here in front of us. All right, so here we go. Let's turn and it sh ew, we should do the coil right here. Keep rolling, they said. Um, oh, what's going on? What? No, that's not what it was supposed to do. So while rolling it, it's supposed to roll on itself to give us a flower, flower flower shape. Okay, let's try again because the entire mechanism is supposed to give us this twirly thing. Take two. I'm curious if we put this again, if it's going to make it any better. Let's go ahead and see. Maybe that will, uh, no, no. <laughs> Here's our second attempt. Well, third. And let's go ahead and do this again, but slowly. Right under, push forward. Okay, come on, you could do it. You can do, you know what you could do? Is absolutely disappoint me. Why is this not work? No, why did you jump? No, we don't want you jumping. No jumping, let's try again. Maybe this way. Come on, come. 
Am I missing something here? Is there a commercial for this? Let me check online. For more creative ideas, visit CrayolaCreations.com. CrayolaCreations.com. The resource you're looking for has been removed, had its name changed, or is temporarily unavailable. I'm starting to think they don't want us to make this work. All right, time for YouTube. Ooh. Holy carp, this is a seven-year-old demo. Let's watch it. <laughs> okay, that is not the same thing at all. Where is the machine? Let's fast forward. Oh, no, that is, that is not the same thing. Let's keep looking. All right, so I found another video, and this one seems to have the same machine, but it's not by Crayola. I mean, the actual video itself is by someone else. Okay, so now they're putting in the back. They seem to have flattened it and made it longer quite a bit. Oh, it's not doing its thing. This person is rolling it manually. The machine is supposed to do it, right? Yeah. So we're supposed to put it in the back, and the result in the front is supposed to coil like this. But even in the demonstration video of another person, it didn't do it. So this machine was doomed to fail before it started. They just figured it looked good and it justified charging this much money for four packs of these clays, which are extremely cheap and you can even buy at the dollar store. So essentially they are cheating us of money just to create this little machine that doesn't work but looks like a kit. This is disappointing and frustrating at the same time and just mm, Crayola! I am mm, 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 mm. I'm very, very pissed right now. Because essentially this money was wasted on these little things of clay. That's it. I know, I absolutely know it's not hard to manually make this shape over here. But I mean, if you're going to make an actual machine that does it and you're charging premium price for the actual machine, that's what I'm going to judge. In the trash. Our next victim, definitely not Kit, Crayola Creations Moblet. Just a moblet. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I thought I would have the least hope on this one. But now, this is where we're putting all of our hope. You see, all the hopes and dreams that we had at the beginning with the first kit is now transferred into that one. Because unlike the other one, we're going to be shaping it by hand and the mechanism that's going to be judged. I don't know why I'm doing this. Is the actual marbling piece because technically that's where we're supposed to be getting these gorgeous colors with that marble swirly thing. And when we look in the back, apparently this kit is telling us that we can shape marble and then wear based on four different types of shape that should be compatible with the marbling machine. I'm not quite sure how the first shape over here is actually going to catch the paint because it looks like we need a flat surface. Then again, what do I know? Crayola has proved me wrong many times, many, many times. As mentioned at the beginning of today's video, we are sponsored by Sophie and Toffee. They are absolutely huge supporters of this channel ever since I was an itty bitty tiny little channel. So I'm really thankful to them. For those of you who don't know Sophie and Toffee, there's two parts to them. First is their amazing monthly subscription boxes that range from resin crafting to collaboration resin crafting kits with Disney. And the other part is they have a resin craft type store. So you'll find something to tickle your fancy. But today, more specifically, I'm going to be talking about the Kingdom Hearts craft box. This was a limited edition sold out box in the subscription slots. However, now it is available for pre-order in their store. And by using the code NERDYCRAFTER15, you're getting 15% off this box, which has a $100 value. And if you're curious what the next box theme is, it is The Little Mermaid, one of my favorites when I was a tiny little green. I was tiny quite a bit in the past. So if you subscribe and pre-order, Early Birds will receive a special price that includes shipping. If you're a little intimidated or not sure how to do the projects in the box, make sure to follow their Instagram because they post tutorials of how to do the different projects. An example here, for the Kingdom Hearts, they show you how to make the phone that you can actually change the slots. And you can also get updates from their newsletter. But let us make a project as well. A Keyblade. Powdered colorants. UV resin. A little smidgen. Bam. Mixy mixy. Delicately fill those little gaps. Like so and more detail and i'll just go ahead and fill the rest and time for my favorite part and do we need to patch it up <gasps> oh that is so pretty oh i messed up over here <laughs> nothing a little touch up can't change and just with a little paint voila so don't forget to check the link down below and use code NERDYCRAFTER15. Thank you, Sophie and Toffee, for sponsoring today's video. Even though I'm technically saying we're putting all our hope on this kit, Salt Shaker, what do you think? Do you think this is going to be a good kit or is this going to be, oh, okay, I agree. That means let's bring on... Ah yes, the salt. Which means... 
<laughs> oh, there goes the knife. I'm not gonna get that one. Luckily, I carry a spare. Let's see what we get inside. Here's what we get inside. Air dry clay, which I've had terrible experience with because it doesn't harden well enough. It just ends up being crumbly. Let's take one item at a time. Maybe they improved the formula. I say skeptically. Maybe they did. I'm still skeptical, but maybe. All right, let's try. We get paints in the primary colors and a huge pot of white, interestingly enough. I'm guessing this is the marble area and some kind of weird scoopy thing. What are these? Wait, are these the shapers? Oh, interesting. That's why they said there's four shapes. So they give us the device to actually make the shapes. Very interesting. Let's match them up. There we go. And there we go. I have no idea how to use them, but we'll figure it out. Oh, there it is. Figure it out. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Figure it out. Mm -mm -mm -mm. It's not the same without Sika. Let's pretend Sika's here. Figure, Figure it out. Figure it out. We also get the drying rack, elastic and plastic dowels. By the way, many of you grains are saying that you miss burp, right? He's doing well, he's fine, right? Okay, fine, don't agree with me. Don't do it, don't do a hit. You can't run actually, because it's a new chair. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, this is my burb, and his name is Angel, but he's quite the demon. He likes to smack me on top of the head and run away, but there's nowhere to run now. Oh, why? In the back of the head doesn't make it any better. I figured he'd come say hi to you, Grains, before he goes to bed. Right? Bedtime. What? No. Don't do it. Oi! You wanna fight? And we also get the instruction... Do you mind? Whoa! Why? I, I kinda need to read these, though. No. Whoa! Yeah, I need my eyes too! <laughs> so this seems like a really interesting kit. Suddenly my hopes went from down here to up here because we're going to use this section right here to measure the amount of clay that we need. And we only need it from one side of the bead, scoop it out with the weird scoopy thing, and then we're going to put it into the mechanism and slide it back and forth. That should be able to create our shape, then stick the pokey thing right through. And then we're not going to let it dry overnight. Instead, what we're going to do is prepare our paint, marble it, and then let it sit overnight for seven to eight hours, right? Yeah, that's, that's a half night. Uh, don't smack me. I could take a very deep voice too. You don't scare me. <laughs> All right, so, whoa, I just turned my head for two seconds and it's smacky here, smacky there. I'm a person with fillings, not feelings, fillings. Oh! So we might as well try one of every shape. I think that makes the most sense. It smells like a swimming pool, but without too much chlorine, like the air that's around it. And this is what our clay looks like. The biggest difference between that and the previous clay is that one is easier to manipulate for smaller hands and usually people who you don't want to eat the clay but may eat the clay, but they'll still be fine. Whereas this one, technically, you should be able to get way more detail. Okay, so let's go ahead and put into the scoopy thing, like so. Remove the excess. That seems about right. Scoop it out. Well, that is the flimsiest scoop ever. But that doesn't seem like much clay, though. I'm gonna trust the process. Stop. All right, so this goes in here, close it up, and go back and forth. How many times? Four to five times. Okay, all right, so here we go. One, two, three, four. And, uh, what the heck is that? Um, kind of flat at the bottom. Let me try again. Let me make another shape, put it in here, close it up. And let's try. One, two, three, four. Oh, let's try again. This time I'll make a ball. There. I mean, it's going from a circle to a circle. It really shouldn't be that hard. One, two, three, four. Okay, let's just go ahead, make a hole with a dowel, and set it on the drying rack by the time we make the other ones. Voila. Now let's see how it does a trying, well, no, a square, a diamond shape. You heard nothing. Scooping out our excess. Well, our measurement is what I mean. And placing it right here, close it up, and let's go. One, two, three, and four. And what do we get? Oh, 
Whoa, oh, interesting. It already made the hole? I don't think that was supposed to happen. Let's try again. This time, let's do it while we're looking on the inside. Let's see. One, two, three, four. And we still get a hole. Interesting. In goes our dowel. Here's our measurement. I'm going to try and avoid doing the scoop. There we go. Right in the middle. And off we go. That's one, two, three, and four. <laughs> what the heck is that? Oh no, let's try again. One, two, three, four. Uh, honestly, I could make these shapes way better by hand. I don't get it, but we're gonna keep going. And now for the last one, which is another rounded one. One, two, three, and four. Interesting, all of them made these weird holes except for the first one. And so here are our four very pitiful shapes. I feel like we could have done way better by hand. I was really excited about these mechanism things because I thought they would be better than my own hands, but clearly not. I present to you Abomination, Quasimodo. Oh, 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 no. Oh, shh, shh, shh don't st stop. Oh my God, my sausage fingers. Abomination 2 and Brad, that's their names. If you have no idea what I'm talking about when it comes to Brad, make sure you watch this video where I do food hacks by 5 Minute Crafts. All right, let's prep our paint. Okay, super interesting. As I'm reading the instructions, this is not paint. This is marbling gel. And what we're going to be doing is filling up the little marble station up until basically the rim, and then adding a few drops of color. They say a maximum of six drops. Now let's see what it actually looks like when we roll the things in there. I really hope this mechanism works because it's basically the entire point of this kit. So let's go ahead, rotate and move forward. <laughs> oh, okay. Keep rolling until we're happy with it. Oh no. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna put this on the rack. Do we need to change the gel every time? It just says to keep going. All right, let's go ahead and keep going. Let's add more blue. They said if we need more colors, just to go ahead and add two to three more drops every time. So let's go ahead and rotate. Oh gosh, what the heck is this? Oh no. <laughs> okay, next one. This time I'm gonna add a little bit more pink. Off we go. Oh, we got green, that's pretty cool. Voila. I like this one a lot more. And let's add yellow. Heck, why not? And voila. I think I'm getting the hang of this, but we're running out of gel. There we go. I'm pleasantly surprised it hasn't entirely turned into a purple or brown, so we still are getting very distinct colors. Whatever that gel is seems to be doing its job. Now I'm guessing this gel should be non-toxic, so I'm gonna get rid of it. So here are our four pieces. We're going to let them dry overnight and see the result of what this gel looks like. And with that, editing magic the next day. And so here we are the next day. They actually look pretty decent, but I'm curious about the break test. Here we go for the squish test to see its durability. All right, I'm pushing fairly hard and it's not breaking. So that is definitely good news. So despite the fact that these mechanism things are not that useful, I can see where they could have benefits so you don't mess up your hands. So as an activity for probably a very young person, I would say that this kit is worth your cash. Let me know what you think. Is that the one that you chose that is going to be absolute garbage end up being the garbage? If you want to watch more Crayola crap kits, make sure you check up here. And if you want to watch a video of me trying the craft and life hacks, Make sure you check over here. I'm never gonna forgive Brad. Oh, Brad. We have things to talk about. Until then, I will see you grains in the next video.